Hello, hello everyone, my name is Tistra and welcome back to our Josai campaign. So, it's been a while in-game, because last time we played we were actually in the summer and now we're in the spring. Have we gone back in time? No, it's the new year. It's the year 865. So, what I've done is basically got myself into a situation where I could build a good army. I also, um, to find all the other factions. I took my boats all around these islands and found them and now they are on their way back and they're about there. So they have uh, been on a massive journey. Presumably an epic one. It's a, it has taken months. But yeah, I have used all my economic powers in order to build a proper army and as you can see of my income I'm really at my limit right now. So, what does that army consist of? Well, it has a few spear levy, and, well, one spear levy, two Yari attendants, still the Mashed of Kashi, which hasn't died yet, I, I give you kudos for that, two Saber Cavalry, so we can mop up our kills a bit easier, and also our flank a lot easier. We have four, actually three, line infantry, but we have also got three recruits, which are pretty much equal. Pretty much. There are a few differences, but... They're the same in range, and that's really what I'm I'm counting on. And we have a four levy, unfortunately, we have to bring some of them. And we still have a Yu Yugi Kitai. And of course our Daimyo. Slash general. So those are ready to attack these guys. And as you can see, they are not the strongest. Their main army doesn't really consist of that much, and this one should be much better than them. Of course, as I usually say, when I say I should, that usually means I'm not sure, but... Yeah, it should be. No guarantees. Anyway, the only problem about attacking these guys is that if I do attack, they will be... Defended, let's see. Those are the Mito clan. So, if we take a quick scroll down to them, here we go. You can see they are allied with the Mata. Well, who are the Mata? Well, what do you know? These guys, the neighbors. So, to summarize, I'm going up against um, three provinces, two factions. But I guess there's no really. Well, there's no obvious way for me to actually break out of this. So, this is definitely the way I want to expand. Also, it would be very nice to keep my land together and not chopped up all over the place. That will happen, but I don't want it to happen immediately. So yes, let's declare war. And uh, why not call in my ally? And they joined, so thankfully we have Edo, Edo on our side. So hopefully we can take the, well we can have these guys actually get into a battle with us, but I don't think so. That'd be a very silly, silly thing to do. Unfortunately, these guys, all of these uh, units right here, means that we might have a tricky time to take them down if they are joined by the garrison army. Anyway, shouldn't sit and dwell on that, so just skip ahead. Hmm. It might also have been an idea to wait until I got my navy back, but I don't actually know if I, well, if they would have been in range. Let's see, I'm going to take another look at that. Hmm. Barely. Oh, I'm getting uh, getting helped. Not from my ally, but uh, from a, uh, a common... Uh, well, the enemy of, enemy of my enemy is my friend, I guess. Anyway, uh, we actually have superior numbers, but if we are silly and choose to go ahead and attack, we will as the balance bar suggests, not have the best chances. So we're not going to do that. We're going to try to keep them besieged. Also, what can I do with you guys? Actually, nothing. Wow. Well, I guess I could have you... could have you spy on them a little bit. No army here. Let's see about the other holding. What's it doing with that? Hmm. Hopefully he'll, he'll join me gets into the reinforcement range. Anyway, these guys will surrender in actually three turns. Hmm. 
This is not a very strong stronghold. Not when it comes to besieging time, anyway. We still have a good win. So, let's see, did they try to break out already? Yes, they do, but unfortunately they choose to do so when we are getting reinforced by the Aisu. So, unfortunately, I don't think I will fight this one because, uh, for a very simple reason, well, I don't know actually. I often have experienced that these guys are way better suited to help me when I actually are ultra solving because when they come in and just merely reinforce the battle, they have a tendency to throw the units away and be stupid about this and uh, waste them. In my in my experience, but uh, I guess I shouldn't prematurely judge them. Also, it would be. It would be a shame to leave a great battle like this unfought, so let's go ahead and actually fight it. I changed my mind rather quickly there, didn't I? Well, if you're new here, you'll uh, you'll get used to it. And if you are a long-time subscriber, well, you know what you're in for. Hmm. So, quite obviously, we have to grab this hill right here. And that's pretty much it. I guess we could place our sharpshooters up on these hills, in these woods. Or maybe in these woods. That might be a bit too close. And it's raining. Brilliant. But yeah, I think that this is actually a decent place to hide them. And... Remains hidden while firing. That That's great. So... Hmm. That will actually allow me to place them here. Unfortunately, I have to be very careful about that. Well, quite obviously, actually. I have to be really careful about that. Well, I guess I'll have the Saber Cavalry be ready to, um, to support them there. Anyway. Our long-range units will have them go ahead and occupy the hill. The Levy Infantry can take the lower route. The Mashlokachi, uh, I don't really know what to do with you. You're a bit awkward to have to deal with. But let's take the Yari Attendants and have them support the main line. And have the Spare Levy protect the fellow levies. levies. General, follow the main line. Even though I guess you are best suited for trying to keep these, these guys still in the battle. Anyway. I think we're ready, and of course we'll we try defend, to sir. we'll try to make my my uh, well not necessarily ally but my uh, partner in crime I guess take as many casualties as possible while we receive as few as possible. And have I been spotted? I might not have actually, but I am pretty much guaranteed to be spotted there, aren't I? I didn't realize they were going to deploy this close to me. And the moment I tried to... Go away? No. Turn. The enemy has uncovered the hidden units. Okay, they were actually going after my, uh, my Saber Cavalry. That wasn't smart. Also, they... Oh yeah, they have uh, they have artillery, do they? So they have... Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit. They have Fort Wooden Cannon Garrison. In other words, a uh, pair of guns that should be exclusively for a fort. But apparently that doesn't that doesn't matter to, uh, to those guys. They brought them with them. Oh well, it's only wooden ca uh, cannons, so... I'm not really that worried about it. Something that I am worried about are these Yugitai. And yes, I have to fortunately rush those guys in. So, this is not really good. Let's try to pull out that and drag them into the general Satamoto. Hmm. I was going to say, what the hell are you doing? 
what are you doing this close to my line? But that is actually my my ally, not my enemy. Let's push new fire, total guard mode, and get back on regular speed. So hopefully I can pull away here. That'll be very awesome. General Satomoto, I don't want to fight them, especially not when I have spears around. I can easily uh, take them uh, take them over. No, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do like this. Hmm. Are you going out my flank like that? Well, you have a few. You'll have a few Yari units after you. So. Also, here comes the general. So, that doesn't appear to be uh, the best thing for you. Not at all. Anyway, our sharpshooters are actually still alive. About down to half strength, but it's still alive, and that's really what matters, isn't it? Anyway, we really have to support with those guys because these guys are completely outflanking us. And it's, at, uh, it's kind of a problem. So yeah, I have to push up, even even when they are levies. Your general is under attack. I can definitely push forward here. This flank is very weak. Under attack my ass. A bullet was passed, probably. Anyway, those guys are still up against Yari attendants. And uh, they're pretty persistent, aren't they? And here comes the Yari unit, straight on. And I forgot to enable guard mode. Let's do that. And see if they actually continue firing. But a lot of them have actually reached a line. Okay, let's try to make the best of this and reinforce. Hmm. It's interesting that they are mainly going after my guys. I guess I am the main enemy, the one that is actually besieging all of this, but... Um, Oh well, I think these guys are very much, uh, very much a danger to you right now. But apparently, you do not agree with me, and uh, well, what can I do to change your mind, really? Hmm. Those guys are still there and active. Where did I send my saber cavalry? I actually told them to stay, I didn't send them anywhere. Well, let's change that. There we go, that should allow us to get a few shots on these guys. Well, look how much I get. But we should definitely push up with what we got right here. And yes, keep Neil fire off just so we... Just so we actually move them, when we try to move them. Okay, those are completely gone. That's, that's nice. See, what do I have, actually have to worry about now? I think I've chased most of them, man. And when I say I have chased, that means mostly the enemy has chased, but of course I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take the. Uh, the glory in all of this. Anyway, I could definitely have my general start to. Try to chase down units. These guys are moments from breaking. So just have these guys ready. Let's see. Uh, first obvious target is, of course, the cannons. I don't want to ever deal with them. And yes, you. You are a required target. Actually, I might have to just push through here with my general. While these guys are still being fought down. Hmm, didn't I give you a target? I could have sworn I gave you a target. Actually, do it the other way around. You go for them, 
because there are more of them. And you go for these guys right here. And look at this. 308. So those guys will definitely come back. And that was uh, Levy. Yes, Levy Garrison Infantry. So, not the best quality, but still a reason to be worried. There we go, just to make sure that I gave them the correct orders. Hmm, I actually want to, wanted to chase these guys. Okay, they're actually a bit closer. And those guys are still doing their thing. And these guys are actually wavering. Well, I guess we could make sure that those guys are out. And there they go. Let's give them a parting gift. There we go. I'm sure they enjoy that. Anyway, yes. Now we're uh, back to the old stuff. Chase them down, slaughter them all. So did I actually do any damage to them? Yes, I did. They're down to five. So hopefully they will they will die. Racking up the kills. Ooh, yeah. You are doing it correctly. Those guys presumably won't return. Yeah, it's looking good. Uh, I think I have engaged all the units I want to arrest to death. Except those guys. Let's see. 32, 68. Let's see if I can take a few of them out. Uh, I think the answer is no. They are way too close to the red line here. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Let's continue with those guys. And yes, I think we are done here. 374 kills. If that's not effective, well then I don't know. So yeah, that was a quite a size of battle. Let's see, uh, both of armies uh, Together lost 2,000 men, and I, uh, I'm i willing to bet that most of those guys were actually from Aisu. Meanwhile, these guys lost just about everything. They have a bit left, but not really that much to be effective. I also captured the wooden cannon, so I guess we ga gained something out of that. Except, uh, well, if you don't count the obvious. Also, Edo apparently managed to capture that region. That's very good. Uh, I can't sabotage that. Oh, I don't have enough money. Yes, I told you about my economy not being the best right now. Anyway, we should be able to auto-resolve and take over that. I'm just gonna save out a little bit and take, the few, take a few damage units. I can't actually do that because that breaks the siege. Uh, but I guess I could do that. Let's break the siege because I can go straight back in. Just make sure that I leave the uh, wounded units. There we go. And hopefully they will be able to return to the army. But yeah, let's auto solve this one. And I guess this guy might die. But we're going to take the chance. And it was heroic. Even though we lost quite a few men. But once again, I actually suspect that that was mostly my ally. Because I am looking at these losses and, well, I guess they are a bit spread out, but it doesn't appear to be that massive. Oh well. We'll peacefully occupy. And I can barely not get back. Oh well. I, at least I got copper. Uh, unfortunately, I inherited a problem here. A problem that I can pay for in the next turn, I think. Let's see. If I can actually... There we go, 546. So yeah, that, that is fixable. Also, I think I think it's cheap to do passing that it, it, is, it is a stronghold. Yeah, this is a fortress. That actually costs a bit more money to repair. 
So yeah, I think uh, I think I was right when I when I uh, thought they couldn't hold out as long because of the stronghold not being that high a level. Anyway, we don't have access to the copper mines yet because they are severely damaged. How much do they, they cost to afford? 1500. Oh well. Well, at least with a repaired economy that we got, uh, that shouldn't be an issue. Anyway, I'll let the um, the unhappy populace go for one turn and I don't really have to worry about those guys. So I will send this guy over and scout what they have left. Okay, they are sending in armies, but they're sending in a few small armies at a time. So yeah, I think I'm good. Unless they go for Shimusa, then, then I might have a problem. Yeah, not looking good, is it? But I should have a few Koku to build any units, if that should be a problem. Also, a military alliance? Yes, please. I'm very much interested. Also, we share a common border, so I think it's uh, a good tactical decision. Also, I'm about to be completely blocked off here. Yes, I am. If I want to capture this territory, I actually gain territory that is not connected to my existing territory. But oh, oh well, what can I do? Anyway, get these guys in, and that didn't actually fix this problem. Oh well then, I guess we'll have to give them one turn of not having to pay taxes. That, uh, that seems to be a, a very good cure for uh, resistant to invaders. Of course, they are, well, they were completely pro-Shogun, pro-Emperor, and uh, it's time to flip that. And that will take a while. Because I have uh, that, uh, that buff I got of, um, of converting provinces, that has gone away, unfortunately. Hmm. I'm actually hoping that Edo will lose this province, so I can swoop in and take it. But uh, I don't know, those armies were actually... Very small, in my opinion. Anyway, that appears to be it for this turn. Once again, we are saving up enough money to be able to rebuild that copper mine, which will bring us, well, should bring us, massive income. Hmm. Uh, these decisions, yeah, I don't, I don't always like them, but... Um, I have seen this flip either way, this one. When I abolished the swords, they, my local populace got angry because, well, they didn't really like that Westerners had any, uh, had any influence. But when I did this, I, hmm. Yeah, the foreigners, as they describe them as, uh, they, uh, they were really angry with me once when I clicked this. And uh, I've had it like, when I do this, I get some trade bonuses. So I'm hoping, hoping for that to be uh, the correct choice here. I don't really know. It uh, it has a tendency to go either way. Anyway, uh, that is actually barely enough money to be able to fix that. And uh, that is very good. And now that we have fixed the stronghold, we have 4 plus to repression. Which means we can tax the buggers. So that's what we'll do. A good amount of income there, and we have actually gotten another port, so we should be able to have more trade routes, shouldn't we? Let's find out. Yes, we are able. Only question is, who wants to trade with me? Well, we have a lot of candidates. We'll just have to find one with a good amount of income, or potential income from the trade. I know there was someone. Yes, here we go. That gives me plus a hundred. Let's try with Obama. At least try to. Yes, that was satisfactory. Thank you. I actually can have one more. Ninety-two. That's a good one. Let's see if there are any any other better ones. 93. 
very slightly. Also, you are very close, so that might be a good idea to trade with you. I was training with you, but you for some reason just abruptly ended the trade. So, I don't know about you. You presumably um, would say yes to that. You believe my wares are not of the highest quality. Well, what I believe is that I am not actually out of money. So, you don't want to trade with me. Because you couldn't squeeze any money out of me to get that trade agreement. So, I actually believe if we ask next turn, when we actually have a bit of income, we um, will get a proposition for a trade. Um, given that we pay them a bit. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. Didn't really care about getting a geisha. So, uh, the Edo captured the province, but also lost the province. Thankfully, for me, that province was the one closest to me. And where are your armies? You don't have one. Well, you have a few. Very much scattered about. Might be able to swoop in and uh, cap capture uh, Shimotsuke. Of course, that will leave this province... Hmm. I can't really tax that promise if I do that. Because these guys will be... Uh, they will... Uh, well, their uh, Jimus would be rustled. That's for sure. Also, I was talking about diplomacy, weren't I? Let's see if my... Uh, it is good to see a friendly face. My Come thoughts were correct. Never. Apparently, no. Never mind. Let's see, I also remember that being another potential trading partner. There we go. Let's see if those guys are willing. Yes, they are. And they even do not need any cocoa from me. So yeah, I can't fight an army, so this seems like a very good moment to strike. But as I said, unfortunately, we... Well... I guess we could take out some units, and let's see what that does with the happiness. Is that all? Hmm, that actually leaves it on plus one. But the resist- yeah, the resist to invaders will go down, but the non-clan allegiance will go up, so that balances out. If I bring the cannons... I'm not gonna bring the cannon, that, uh... Will probably only slow us down a bit. Let us rather bring. Yeah, let's bring the Yugitai. They will be replenished. But I might have to do this for a little while. Alternatively, I can do a bit of this. Recruit a few garrison troops. Yeah, I can recruit. I can afford two of them, so do that. Uh, yeah. I think we'll move out, and if we meet an enemy army, well, tough. We uh, will try to seize the opportunity. So hopefully that will be enough to capture it. Also, if these guys try to become involved, because these guys are very severely damaged right now. Also, once again, we are designed, so we get this very good thing. That these guys will actually get replenished. I love that. But yeah, I think I forgot to bring these guys along. Or I left them because they are about tar strength. Hmm. Who knows? I'm forgetting myself. So, yes. Die has been cast. There we go. We gain administrative training. Yeah, there we go. Minus two happiness across all the provinces. Well, that was a bad time for that to happen, wasn't it? So, minus one. Uh, these guys are actually still happy. These guys are not that happy. Uh, you have one two happiness. Therefore, bring over the garrison, or one of the garrison units, to try to fix that. And they barely are not able to get into the castle. Well, that's a bummer, isn't it? Well, I guess I have to take one tick off... Um, of uh, unhappiness, and hopefully that'll that'll make do. And you, for some reason, are now well. You aren't fully recovered, but 
you just appear to be. Also, you have a light gun. Wow. I should try to take advantage of that. Sabotage army? Hmm. 50-50. Quite a lot of money, though. We'll take it. Enemy army sabotage. That's nice. Because uh, that killed a few of the men off. Very good. And they might have demoralized them as well. I don't know. Anyway, let's give this guy a bit of skill in... Hmm. This is when assassinating. I don't know how much I'm going to assassinate, really. Well, I guess... I guess for, um, for enemy agents, more than anything. When they get annoying. So, uh, go for sabotaging buildings first, and eventually get down to the assassin traits. So, your retainers, subterfuge and assassinating, and plus five to chance of escaping an unsuccessful action. Let's go for assassinating. Also, we want to take you out. Because if we take you out, we have a small chance, well, we have a chance of actually grabbing your artillery. And your artillery is pretty goddamn awesome. Well, it's not really that special, but it's pretty goddamn awesome just because I don't have it. And it definitely would be a great thing to have if I, uh, if I am to attack your last remaining province. Better conditions appear to be great. Okay. Should also keep in mind that they do still have the artillery pieces. They haven't magically magically become mine yet. So I really have to worry about I really have to worry about um, what they can do to me. And how effective they can be. So We'll have to rush this. Also, have my cavalry out on the flanks, because I want to intercept their reinforcements. Because the reinforcements is yet another set of artillery. Anyway, I, th I think we'll do it this way. We'll push up and uh, try to take them out as quickly as possible. You guys, you can stay back. You can hide in the trees, I guess. And also, you guys could take a little break. General, stay back. You are not really needed in this rush attack, and attack, rush away! Here we go! Let's swoop them up. Also, let's completely outflank with the cavalry. Try to get behind them. Let's see, what kind of poundage were they? These are six pounds. And those are the same? Yes, they are, apparently. Hmm, the General Satomato might actually go go for these guys. Hopefully that won't be the case. But you never know. Well, if you're just gonna walk into my line, I'm not gonna stop you. Also, if you're gonna leave your Artillery and protectors. I'm not gonna stop you. Anyway, guard mode. And. Neil fire. Hmm. That seemed a bit strange. Anyway. Yeah, those guys are. they are toast. You guys chase those guys down, and these guys are about to hit. Well, I guess we'll have to try to swoop in and save the day. So hopefully these guys will be able to hold out until reinforcements arrive. Oh, 
Our goal is to firstly swoop in and take out the light guns and then help our our brethren. They actually are doing a very good job fighting the general. Victory is assured, hmm. sir. So that's very nice. Those guys shattered. Oh, the um, the artillery crew, that is. Hopefully this hasn't like officially destroyed the guns. I don't really know. But yeah, I, I would prefer if they are actually usable. Also, try to leave none behind. I guess I should have brought up my general. Uh, just for that alone, I'm guessing. Actually, I think you'll... I don't know. Let's give a coup de ground. As I said, I'm quite indecisive. There, that pretty much guarantee the uh, the death of the general, eh? or at least the the destruction of the units of the general. Good news, sir. The enemy general is and there dead. you go. There's official. And now completely destroyed the rest of them. I'm probably going to be hit by a few whizzing bullets here from my own man. Okay then. Both my cavalry units have their own targets. Everything is pretty, pretty fine. Actually, spread out as much as possible. Try to grab everything we can. The Doshin are melting away, and so are all the other units. So hopefully we completely annihilate that army. We won't see even one of those units ever again. I guess the uh, the biggest chance of a unit surviving is the general. Well, then again, I did actually kill the general, so I I don't think the general's bodyguard will stick around any longer. Now that the general is dead, So, we actually managed to capture a light gun. Very, very good. Very good. And we lost 186 men. I guess those were necessary casualties. Our general leveled up. Nice. What do we want to give him? Well, let's keep going down this fine line. Or we could save a bit and... Uh, and uh, that would enable us to do things like go both down this line and this line in order to grab this. And also try to grab either one of these. Yes, because these are not required in order to actually get down the, the tree, so... I don't know. I don't know what I will be doing. Because... 5 plus the replenishment rate of all units under this man's command. Um, well, that's a decent one. Especially for the place value you, you're, you're using with the Josai. Especially what I'm doing right now, so I might grab that one and spend 1 point. Commander ambushes and income from looting. I usually don't do that, so... This appears to be the best option right now. It will also give me slightly more movement range. Well, apparently not counting this turn, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, and th this will definitely be enough to take them out. And I don't see any allied armies that are in range that can swoop in and take these guys. But then again, I don't have sight on this. So hopefully they... Uh, these guys won't be dicks about it, and uh, they will actually allow me to capture this. And then I have four joint provinces. That'd be pretty, pretty nice. So let's then turn and see what their answer is. Hopefully it's not anything at all, because they shouldn't have any troops left. Besides the garrison forces. And apparently that appeared to be correct. So indeed, we suffered one turn of uh, unhappiness. And this should make it good. Hmm. I guess we have to give them one more garrison unit. 
make that to be a levy infantry. And the reason why I choose levy inf infantry over the spear levy is the fact that they are very effective when you mount them on walls. Compared to spear levy, that can't really do anything when you mount them on walls. They just have to wait until the enemy actually gets into your castle. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna do I'm gonna do it the boring way. I'm gonna ultra sort this because we should have a decent chance of winning this. And there we go. We probably took uh, less damage there than I would otherwise, and we destroyed the clan. Nice. So we also actually have enough money in order to repair that. So that was also very nice. And that's it. Uh, we are pretty much walled in by our allies. We can either go through them in order to hit one of these other bronzes right here, whichever the whichever ones are actually loyal to the uh, to the wrong to the wrong part of the uh, the Japanese rule, the uh, the the filthy filthy emperor. But um, we'll find that out and see what we go after in the uh, the next part. We might even go as far as to. Well, actually, I think these guys used to be loyal to the imperial, uh, to the imperial uh, uh, emperor. But these guys actually swooped down and took them out. Could I actually take a quick look here. See, let's see. Oh, you guys don't like me. Did they flip? Did they change allegiance? Yes, I've never seen that happen. Oh wow, but this might be a great chance to try to carve ourselves a bit of uh, Josean land up in Hokkaido. So, it might actually go there next, but uh, we'll see about that. Alternatively, we could... Uh, these guys don't like us either? Have they also flipped? Are you serious? Let's see, Edo. Edo. Wow, what is up with you? Okay, so these guys are about to declare war on me, probably. That was... I'm, once again, I've never seen that happen before. I don't, I've don't. i never seen Edo, Edo be Imperial. I guess I haven't really seen Imper uh, Edo at the late part in the game, because they spawn in such a uh, Shogun-supporting... Uh, heavy Shogun-supporting area. So I guess that might be why. But actually, we are in alliance with them, and we could we could actually just stick around and wait until they they change side, not change side, but they break the alliance, and hopefully the trade agreement as well, and then we can attack them. That would actually gain me a huge chunk of land. That that would actually be very good for me, I think. Hmm. But yeah, all of that will have to be considered in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed this one. R uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And, as always, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.